What's up guys? In today's video, I'm going to show you how to simplify the, the websites with Jinja 2. So for example, we have here on the screen this web page with HTML code. And as you can see, well, this page is very simple, but usually these pages are very complex. And what do I mean with complex? Like they are usually very long, like they have a lot of things in the head, they have a lot of things here, etc. But with Jinja 2, we can um, simplify this but by using a base page. And what, what do I mean with this? So for example, if we check this page 2, which was from the previous, from the previous tutorial code, you can see that, yeah, we have the HTML, we have the head, we have the body. But if we go to the page 2 of this new tutorial, you can see that this is very simple and we are adding more things. So, for example, wh why is this useful? So, if you... Let's go to the previous tutorial. Let me open it. So, if we go to the previous tutorial, you can see that most of the times the pages are very similar. Like, for example, they have, well, look, for, look at page 3. It has HTML, head, body. Look at page 2. The same. Like, it happens the same. It is uh, very similar. So, if this is the case, or look, for example, index. Yeah, this is longer, but this is the same. So, as this is the case, we can simplify things by creating a base page that has all those things that are very similar. So, for example, in this base page, what we have is that, yeah, for example, we have HTML head, body, and etc. But then we have some blocks in which you can put your code. So, here, for example, in the head, I have a block called head content, and every page that uh, loads this base HTML file and wants to put that uh, something here, will use this block and it will put something here without needing to put HTML, head, whatever. So, for example, if in one page we just want to put the title, we don't need to, to, to put HTML, head, or whatever. We just need to use the title content block that I created and here put the information that we want, like the title that we want. The same happens with the body. We don't need to put again HTML, head and body. No, we just put here the info that we want inside of the body content block. So let's see an example. Remember that this was the base page and this contains the declarations of the blocks and also it contains the, the common things that all the websites of your, of your system is going to have. Well, all the, all the common things that your websites have. So if we go, for example, to the, let's go to the page three, which I think is very simple. <clears throat> Here, we don't need to put anything in the head. We just need to use the title. And in order to add the title, again, we first extend that base. We say, okay, I'm going to use that base HTML file. We extend it and we use it. And here we just simply put, okay, I'm going to use the block title content. This is the end of the block. And here, I put whatever I want to. Uh, I want that it's inside of the title. So, for example, here the title is page three, and this is how I put it. So, and again, another thing is the block, uh, the body content. So, this block contains all the information about the body. If we go back to the base, it is like putting it here, inside here. So, this is why the base page is very useful. So, for example, if we go to the page 2, again, we have it here, the title page 2, and all the things that we want inside the body content block that we created before. If we go to the product page, we can see that now the title is uh, dynamic, and yeah, we put here the name, that, and that's the, that is going to be the title, and again, the content is going to be here inside the block, uh, the body block content, the, the body content block. So yeah, like you can call this body, but I wanted to put body, body, body content block. So yeah, that's the way you use that. And for example, if we go to the index page, I think I already show you. This is longer, but for example, here I wanted to put a head. So you can see that, yeah, this is the head <laughs> and this is the title. And it's very simple. 
So if we now go to the uh, page, you can see that nothing really changes. If we load the page, which is here, nothing re really changed. So if we go to the page two, yeah, we added the page two uh, title, but nothing changed. And the thing that changed is that now the code in your website is much more simpler. And if we go, for example, here, we have the title, which is going to be page. We have this title that now is Strana. And we have this title that now is Pagina. So that's why this is very useful. And I find it that, hey, everyone that uses Flask should know how to do this because it is going to make things a lot easier. So I think that that's all for Flask. I don't know if I have something else to tell you. If I have, I will tell you something else, but yeah, I think this is the last video of Flask. So if you enjoyed Flask, give it a like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next one. Hey.